Just a bit uppish, but he's going to get runs through mid off. It's a good contest between the ball and the fieldsman. It beats the fieldsman. Abishka Fernando gets off the mark. Not the most convincing stroke, but he'll take it. Punched off the back foot, short and wide. Danushka Gunatilka standing up straight. This outfield gives you real value for money. Mohamed Amir. Oh, that's gone, that's gone. Mohamed Amir strikes. Abishka Fernando playing loosely outside the off stump. Have a look at him. Playing it down the wrong line as well. The ball angling across. Feather edge taken by the keeper. Mohamed Amir is off the mark. 13 for the loss of one. Goes after scoring four. Short delivery. Not quick by uh, Mohamed Amir. And that's rushing away to the boundary. Driven beautifully through extra cover. Through extra cover. Nicely driven by the captain. What a shot. You can't bowl anything outside of, of stump on this pitch. Another boundary. Nine overs gone. 43 for one. That's gone through four and a 50. Well played. Excellent innings from Dashun Gunatilika. 50 of 56 deliveries, had a forgettable outing in the second one day international, but today he's looked very calm, composed, got the scoreboard ticking as well. No, yeah. Played it late to get to a milestone. Overthrows this time and comedy of errors. First of overthrow and then Usman Khan Shinwari completely lost it. Yeah! That's the wicket that Pakistan was looking for. Nawaz into his first over provides the breakthrough. It's a good sharp catch, really is neat cricket from Nawaz because he did not have a lot of time to react to this strong straight drive. Caught it well. That'll give him a lot of confidence. Easily done. Rimane would be bitterly disappointed with the end result because it's looking good. Fell to a soft dismissal. 36 he got. It's 101 for two. Straight over the top, very safe shot. And that's a boundary, it's a welcome boundary for Sri Lanka. They needed that. Over the top, that's a big hit. How far has it gone? Has she gone over the top? It has. And that's a wicket. Usman Khan Shinwari provided the breakthrough comes round the wicket and he's pushed hard with hard hands Herrera's gone to 13 from 25 he's just starting to get going it's 151 for three that's the single that gets the century for Gunnatalaka and he's played delightfully here in Karachi his second one day international century and just look at the passion that he's shown in the celebration. That's a quite superb century from uh, Gunatalaka. Sets this innings up nicely for Sri Lanka. That's a wonderful shot. Oh, that's gone all the way. Made a terrific sound and that's a six. Inside out drive, that's gone all the way for six. Get it, get it. Trouble, 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 trouble. There was hesitation, yes, no, yes, no. And Minot Banuka is the man to go. 
Total confusion, miscommunication. So this innings turned out to be a decent one. On debut, getting a 36 of 39, not bad at all. 225 for four. That's gone up in the air. It's Haskaya. Somebody getting underneath it. It's taken. I think it's Iftakhar who was the fielder. Yeah, Sri Lanka needed a big hit. They needed a few big hits. Jaya Surya getting height rather than the distance. He's gone for three. Sri Lanka 236 for five. Ball in. Bullseye. Mohamed Amir removes the centurion. Intelligent bowling, cross seam, full delivery. And there was the idea with third man up, Madoff up in the circle. Got the set batsman, Pakistan back in the game here. He departs for 133. Sri Lanka 243 for six now. Back over his head. What a hit this is. Big six. Oh, he's clouted this. It's gone over long off. And it's six. Oh, he's dragged it on. Well, bold moment, Amir. He middled it, but to, onto his stumps, unfortunately, for a batsman. Asuranga departs for 10, Pakistan, uh, Sri Lanka, beg your pardon, 24 for seven. Bold. Amir is going to have a shot at the stumps and he's got. What a good throw that is by Mohamed Amir. Another slow delivery, good variation from Amir and uh, Bullseye. Sri Lanka, 284 for 8 now. Oh, it's gone straight up in the air. Safraz underneath it. Leave it to the skipper. He's as safe as a mortgage. Goodness, for Wahab Riaz's sake, he's going to hope that that big screen doesn't show a no ball. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is that a no ball? Take a walk back. Last ball. Well, it's wide and it's gently lobbed to Haris Sahil. And a fine innings from Shanika comes to an end. Ah, oh, that's a glorious straight drive. He's a good batsman. Very impressive start to this innings. Ah, oh, another very, very fine shot. Great timing on that one. That's gone and hit the fence in no time. Lovely batting. Nicely driven. No need to run for that one. That's exquisitely timed. Yeah, I mean, you can't bowl there. He's already shown talent flicking the ball through mid-wicket. It's a fine shot. What a good shot. That has gone like an absolute rocket. Oh, Farkas man does what he loves to do. Has a massive swing at the ball, and that's six. Glorious shot. Abad Ali is giving us a masterclass in batting here. Shot, little bit of width, and that's slapped for four. And that is a very well compiled half century for Abid Ali. What a good innings this is. Only on 37 deliveries. What a shot from Abid Ali. He's looking really in good nick. The teammates are out praising the mad boy. 50 of 37. I think he had more chance of catching a bus. That's uh, four this time. Farkas a man. And too much width on offer here. 13 gone, 87 without loss. Plays it on the up. Into the gap as well. Fakhar Zaman gets another boundary. Moves into the 40s now. That's a huge shout. Sharply spun in. Joe Wilson unmoved and they've gone for the DRS.
Joel ball tracking is coming up now. Pitching outside off, impact is in line and it's hitting the wickets. So I'm going to get you to change your original decision of not out to out. I'll let you know when you're on screen, Joel. You're on screen now. So that's the wicket Sri Lanka were looking for. Abed Ali given out on DRS. Didn't pick the wrong gun. Was shaping to cut the ball and then realized extremely late that it was the other one would have gone on to hit the leg stump. Well read by the Sri Lankans, took a DRS and they were absolutely right. Abid Ali's impressive innings comes to an end. Got 74, stylish 74 of 67. It's one, two, three for one. One over. There it is. Consecutive half centuries for Fakhar Zaman. He's been a bit under the cosh and given the opportunity in this one day international series and he's scored half centuries though he's been a bit cautious too his 13th ODI 53rd was versus Sri Lanka beautifully played by Babar Azam this is hit in the gap at mid wicket with the turn good option by Fakhar Saman and he's looking to expand now well, it's always disappointing to lose a single. That's a wild throw that's gone for overthrow. Sri Lanka can't afford that. That is poor. Bob, you know, that's the problem. Couple of full del short deliveries and then one right in the slot to Babar Azam, who played this shot elegantly. Duan Pradeep gets that ball to come back. They're asking the question. Joel Wilson is thinking about it. What are they going to do? Are they going to refer it to Rimana? What are you going to do? Oh, yes, he's, he's referred it. He's referred it. Ball tracking coming up now, Joel. Pitching outside off, impact in line, and it's hitting the wickets. So I'm going to get you to overturn your decision. Not out to out. I'll let you know when you're on screen. Joel, you're on screen now. They've got the top man, the top dog of the Pakistan batting lineup. Barbarazm departs for 31 and Pakistan 181 for two. Edge dropped. Well, they needed this catch. They needed this wicket. It's a sharp chance, this, but you've got to take them at this level. Yeah, he was actually going on to his left foot. His weight was on his left leg. And it was difficult to go back to the right. Chart's gone. Uppercut goes straight to the fielder in the deep. And so another one. That, that misread the length. Shanaka was the fielder. And it worked perfectly for Sri Lanka. That's just reward for Nuan Pradeep because he's tried hard for this second wicket. He's made the one breakthrough, Babar Azam, and now he's got Fakhar Zaman. Good catch. That's the anchor gone. Fakhar Zaman has gone for 76, and now Pakistan will have to regroup. Two new batsmen at the crease, 189 for three. He'll push his partner for at least two is. Oh, that is messy. That really is not needed. Boundary leaked. Nicely played. Sharp. This is. He just guides it through extra and adds a bit of oomph to it as well. A good delivery. He missed it completely. Missed the stumps as well. Required run rate just over six. Don't bowl full tosses. Don't bowl full tosses. One bounce for four. That's a poor delivery. 
Right there, right in the slot. No need to run for those. Couple of bounces into the fence. Balled him. What happened there? He he played on. That ball came back at Safras. And Lahiru Kumara has provided the wicket. Let's have a look. Was it an inside edge? He was trying to play towards third man, maybe. Yes. And inside edge onto his uh, stumps. A risky shot. Just play with the straight bat. But he got some runs under his belt, uh, the captain, Pakistani skipper. Sir Faraz departs for 23 of 33 Pakistan, 244 for four. This is high. Will someone take it? Will someone? Oh, no. It falls in no man's land. No man's land. Harry Sohel was never in control. Slapped over extra. What a crushing blow that is. Out of the middle of the bat with a horizontal bat and it's gone for six. Full toss. That's an inviting single there and it's a half century for Haris Sohail and uh, is he going to take Pakistan home 50 from 46 deliveries yeah that's a very good innings under pressure in a way in a run chase situation is come good goes for the short one Iftikhar swings and swivels and collects four wide and again it's inviting a full swing of those arms and Iftikhar picks up four that's full no third man he was going for the wide Yorker and Harry Sohail got there first oh bowl him trying to make some room and well he has shattered the stumps What's happening? Yeah, he's so disappointed that he <laughs> didn't want to leave the crease. He's, he's cursing himself. This was a pretty innocuous delivery, making room. And, well, just too close for comfort in the end. And the off stump is shattered. So, Pakistan 11 in 14 balls. And they've lost. Settle asset. Haris Earl is gone after playing a blinder. 56 he got. Nine from 12. Uh, bad line, bad ball. That's gone all the way. I think it's a six. Full toss on the pads for a guy who's looking for a bit of width. Just bowled a poor delivery. Short fine leg inside the circle and don't bowl on the, on the thigh or on the leg. Friendly full toss. Just helping it on its way. So Pakistan now needs three of 11. But to Sri Lanka's credit, they've dragged the game to the 49th over. And that dressing room now looks extremely difficult. Again, what has he done? He's bowled two poor deliveries. And Pakistan have uh, won it. With uh, 10 balls remaining, they get to 299 for five, six and a four. They finish off in style.